Hi! This is Teacher Melody Valiente from Torlock City Schools Division. Nagbabalik po. <laughs> okay, so this time, I will discuss Module 4 of LDM Course 2 for Teachers. So that is Planning for Continuing Professional Development and Lack Planning. Okay. So, i-load ko lang. Asa na kasi yun? <laughs> Kumusta na po kayo? So, nasa module 4 na lang tayo. Na tayo. Module 5 na lang. So, mabilis na natin itong matatapos. Although, uh, I think na-extend yata ang submission ng deadline. So, mas maganda pong nagbabasa-basa tayo kung meron tayong mga extra time. Di po ba? Okay. So, this module 4, tulad nga sinabi ko, Planning for Continuing Professional Development and Black Planning. So, it requires us to finalize individual development plan and also templates for LAC. Okay, or yung ating learning action cell. So, type ko nga kung ano. Yan, learning action cell. Yung iba ang tawag na dyan, LAC, diba? School learning action cell. Okay, so these are the module objectives. Carry out your plan for continuing PD or professional development. Discuss the different PD initiatives or programs related to the LDMs that are available to you, either provided by DepEd or non-DepEd learning services providers. Third is to develop a PD plan including the learning, learning action plan and commit to your professional growth and development. So, we have two lessons in Module 4. Lesson 1 is Reflecting the Professional Life and Development. Lesson 2, Planning for Continuing Professional Development. O yung tinatag natin, CPD, di ba? CPD. And then, Participation in the LAC Session 4. Estimated time required, 2 hours. Pero tayo, sana hindi umabot ng 2 hours. Okay, now let's go to lesson 1. Reflecting on professional life and development. So, sa activity 1, so yan po ah, habang pwede tayong mag-keep ng study notebook habang nagdi-discussion kayo sa LAC session nyo para nag-jot down na lang kayo kasi per activity, it will require you sometimes to answer some reflective questions, guide questions, Sharing of thoughts, what are your insights about this topic? Activity 1, let's assess ourselves using professional self-assessment questionnaire. Okay, so nasa na kasi yung questionnaire na yan. Tignan nga natin. Oops, sorry. Professional assessment. Okay, so ito, i-ano lang natin ng sarili natin, i-assess natin kung uh, you can use the modality with ease. Ano ba yung modality or LDM ninyo? Is it modular distance learning, online distance learning, blended distance learning, TV-based instruction, radio-based instruction? Okay. So, ma-assess ko sa sarili ko, blended kami. Modular and online. So, I think agree. Not strongly agree because maybe sometimes I would uh, face some challenges or issues about uh, blended learning because para sa akin ha, it is the hardest modality that you could use. Next is, I can confidently use the platforms in the modalities. Yan, strongly agree ako dyan. Kasi I can manipulate uh, applications na or platforms na ginagamit, lalo ng Google Meet, ba? Um, kahit sa Facebook, sa Messenger, pwede rin kayo mag-open ng group dyan para sa video call with your students. And other platforms pa. I can use the pedagogies associated with the modalities and platforms. So, agree tayo dyan. I can very well manage my learner's class in the modality that my school has adopted. How could you manage? Do you agree or disagree with that? Well, syempre, I can manage them kasi kilala ko na sila eh. Diba? Pwera na lang kung meron tayong mga students talaga na iba yung kanilang character kapag sila ay nasa school at nasa bahay. Kasi, at, uh, kasi this time, sa new normal, nasa bahay sila. So kung umiga ba sila tapos nagkaklase kayo, sabihin mo, oh, wala ka sa bahay. Ay, nasa bahay ka pala. Sige, okay lang. Ganun po ba? 
<laughs> so depende on how you will how you will manage your learners okay i can very well engage with parents and community partners in assisting learners yes strongly agree tayo diyan kasi every now and then kailangan meron tayong communication with parents guardians diba pwede rin sa ibang stakeholders okay so that is the self assessment questionnaire you can include this in your study notebook. Now let's go on to activity two. Revisit the PPST found in LDM course overview. Okay, so course overview tayo. Ayan. So as you can see in here, medyo shortened ang PPST dito. Kasi yung mga domains and ano na lang, hindi na pinakita yung mga, for example, yung specific content dito sa beginning, proficient, and highly proficient leaders or teachers dito. Okay. Pero kung gusto nyo pong tignan yung laman or i-review ulit ang PPSC standards, meron po yan sa DepEd Order 42, I think, 2017. Eto po. National Adoption and Implementation of the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers. Sige po, i-scan lang natin. O, let's say, for teachers po, kasi meron din po para sa school heads. Ito po ba yun? Yan. Domain 1, Content, Knowledge, and Pedagogy. So, the strands are here. For beginning teachers, yung mga nagsisimula pa lang sa DepEd, I think, teachers na one year pa lang. Then, proficient teachers, mga two years, two to three years. Highly proficient teachers. Ito na po yung mga teacher three, I think, or master teachers to distinguish teachers. So, ito po yung ating PPSC. Sa domain one pa lang po yan. So, we have seven domains in here. Hanggang tayo ay mapunta sa Domain 7, which is yun ang focus ng ating Module 4, Personal Growth and Professional Development. Ito po ang focus ng ating Module 4. Okay. So, sabi dyan, um, may tanong tayo dito. What particular professional standards in the PPSD do you need to focus on? to effectively use the LDMs in relation to the content and pedagogy of the learning areas you're teaching. Write your answer and other insights in your study notebook. Okay, so maybe next videos, I will show you my study notebook from module 1 to 5 para makita ninyo yung mga aking reflections and also ano yung mga in-include ko doon. Yes, as part of my output din po. Okay, so to guide your answers, you can also re refer to DepEd Memo number 50, series of 2020 on DepEd Professional Development and Continuing Professional Development. Now, let's go first to DepEd Memo 50, number 50, series of 2020. So, this is the DepEd Professional Development Priorities for Teachers and School Leaders. Diba? Marami po dito kasi pag sinabi natin, uh, pag narinig ninyo yung CPD, what comes first into your mind, di ba? Isang CPD, ay, ito yung ano, pag nag tayo sa PRC, <laughs> di ba? Pero hindi lang po yun. So, nandito rin po pala yung copy ng PPST. Ayan po, yung mga strands and domains. Pero mas uh, parang na, na compress sila with numbers or yung kanilang... Um, Okay po. So, activity three. Ay, hindi ko pa pala na ano to. Continuing professional development, yung CPD yan. You can open this file sa guidelines nila kasama po dun sa mga modules sa drive. So, ayan po. What is the main purpose of CPD? Hindi lang po ito para sa pag -re renew natin, okay? Because it is your right to have your personal or professional advancement, diba? So, non-teaching, academic, and non-academic shall enjoy the protection of the state and also everyone na merong professional uh, identification cards or, diba, mga professional, yung mga nag, na, 
nakapasa sa mga board exam. So, every teacher shall participate in the continuing professional education program of the PRC and shall pursue such other studies as well as improve his efficiency, enhance the prestige of the profession, and strengthen this his or her competence, virtues, productivity in order to be national and internationally competitive. Hindi lang po after ang PRC or ang DepEd or ang CP, uh, CPD sa renewal. Kasi para din po sa atin yan. To improve our efficiency, to enhance our knowledge, to skills. Kasi di ba ang learning continuous naman po yan. Para tayo na rin ay maging nationally and internationally competitive. Okay, so you can continue reading this. CPD, uh, if you have some time. Activity 3. Answer the following questions by constructing and filling out the table in your study notebook. So, may mga tanong tayo dito, no? How do you envision your teaching practice in the next few months as you use the LDM adopted by your school? In your own answer, mga madam, mga sir, Paano niyo nakikita ang sarili ninyo? No po, baka mamaya hindi pa, hindi pa ako ready. I'm not yet ready. So, I think, so, pwede kayo magsulat or mag-type sa study notebooks ninyo. So, next is, what is your goal in terms of teaching practices in the modalities? Siyempre, we need to set our goals. What motivates you to achieve this goal? Ano ang magda-drive sa atin or mag magpo-push sa atin para ma-achieve ang goal na yan? And what do you think will help you attain this goal? Okay, alam niyo yung mga kasama ko sa faculty. Instead na what, sabi nila dito, ang nilagay nila pangalan ko. Ma'am Melody daw. Ako daw makakatulong sa kanila to attain this goal. Well, literally, yes, natutulungan ko sila. Pero meron pa rin mga bagay na kung ano yung mga pwede nilang gawin para ma-achieve yung goal nila na yun. So, add as many rows as you need for your answers. Okay? So, hindi nyo na kailangan sagutin tong uh, wait lang. Medyo magulo na. <laughs> hindi nyo na kailangan sagutin to isa-isa. Itong what is your goal? What motivates you? What do you think? Kasi, dito nyo po sila sasagutan. No po? Pero, ito pong how do you envision yourself or your teaching practice, sagutin niyo po yan in uh, paragraph form. Good job! You're now done with lesson one. Now let's proceed to lesson two and learn, learn more about planning for continuing professional development. Okay, so ngayon, meron tayong palak ulit or continuation ng lack session ninyo. Lesson two, planning for the continuing professional development and participation in the LAC. Kayo ba, kapag may LAC session kayo, active po ba kayo? I mean, nagkakaroon ba kayo ng uh, talagang real conversation sa LAC nyo? O ano lang siya, one way lang siya, na si LAC leader or si LAC speaker, facilitator lang ang nag-feed sa inyo. Kailangan po sa learning action cell natin, merong uh, talagang interaction. Opo, kasi para sa para after no, meron kayong mga recommendations, suggestions na hindi lang applicable sa inyo. Lahat kayo matutulungan ng mga 'yon, 'di ba? So, mas maganda pong open tayo. Pero not to the point na ikaw na yung tatayo doon para maging speaker. <laughs> kasi ano pang sabi ng lack leader, diniskas mo na lahat. Ay, I think ganito. Huwag naman pong ganun. Siyempre, we act professionally, ethically po, di ba? Okay. So, in this session, we will identify the professional development programs available and reinforce positive feelings about teaching, teaching as a career. Okay. Activity of uh, accessing LISNEA programs. I think hindi to included dun sa module sa drive. Pero meron tayo ditong individual development plan template. Okay. So, I'll show you the individual development plan template. Where are you? 
Hindi ko yata siya na-include dito. Let's upload it first. Okay. Oopsie. So, by the way, <clears throat> this individual development plan, hindi na bago sa inyo to. Bakit po? Kasi every end of the year or school year, di po ba, hinaharap natin to as part 4 ng ating RPMS o yung sa ating IPCRF. Di ba? Part 1 to 4 yan. So, ito yung last phase na ginagawa natin. Nagkakaroon tayo ng development plan na pwede natin i-implement sa susunod na school year. Di po ba? So, eto siya. Yan. Pero ang napansin ko lang, nadagdagan tayo ng learning objectives of the professional development program. Di ba? Tignan nyo. Ipakita ko sa inyo yung sa RPMS natin. So, makikita nyo po yan dito sa ating um, manual. RPMS manual for teachers and school heads, particularly in page, um, I think this is page 77, yan po yun. Di po ba? Part 4 po siya. Kung hindi po kayo familiar na kung paano kayo gumagawa ng IPCR kung incomplete po siya. So, part 4 po yan. Andiyan din yung strengths, uh, development needs, action plan or intervention, timeline, and resources needed. Ipo ba? Kaya lang, yung example na pinakita po kasi sa atin is mga walang laman. So, naisip ko dahil may example sa RPMS manual. So, eto magiging basis ng mga ilalagay natin doon. Ipo ba? So, paalala ko muna. Let's recall. Ano nga ba or kailan ba ginagawa yan? So, meron tayong tinatawag na SAT o Self-Assessment Tool. So, sa RPMS cycle, first is we have self-reflection, actual performance, and development planning. Then after that, it is a cycle nga po. Babalik ka na naman sa self-reflection. Ano ba? Ano yung nagawa kong tama? Ano yung nagawa kong mali? Ano pa yung pwede kong i-improve? Ano yung mga hindi ko na kailangang i-improve dahil okay naman na? Parang ganun po. So, meron tayong RPMS cycle dito. Okay? Lipat tayo, lipat. Baba ko lang po ito. At medyo lalakihan natin. Okay. So, phase 1 is performance planning and commitment. Ito po ay from May or last week of May before opening of classes. Ito yung first phase natin. Diba? Hindi ko na masyadong tatagalan kasi sa RPMS na to. And then, Performance monitoring and coaching. Ito yung mid-year review. Di po ba? And then performance review and evaluation. Year-end review ng ating RPMS or IPCRF. And then, sa part 4, dito na po yung rewarding and development. Sa tools natin, IPCRF and development plans ang kailangan natin. Nung nasa normal pa tayo, uh, during April or papunta ng May, yung timeline na ginagawa natin ito. Kasi, itong development plan na to dito na naman natin isa sa katuparan sa unang phase ulit sa performance, planning, and commitment. Yung mga interventions na nilagay mo doon. Ano ba yung pagkukulang ko? Ano ba yung kalakasan ko? Ano ba yung mga intervention na dapat gawin? Anong timeline ang target ko? At anong resources ang kailangan ko? Diba? So, yun yung nasa template. So, kung makikita ninyo, what are my strengths? From SAT po yan. Development needs. Ano yung mga mahihinang parts o sa tingin mo ay hindi mo masyadong na-perform? Diba? At anong intervention na kailangan mong gawin para dyan? Timeline and resources. Okay. Hmm. Gusto ko sana ipakita yung sa akin. Let's upload it. Tignan po natin. Kaya lang po, um, hindi po ito perfect, kaya huwag niyo po akong i-judge. <laughs> Ayun, study note po ko pala itong ina-upload ko. Nasa last part po kasi yan. So, meron lamang 
uh, paglilinaw dito, no po. Kasi syempre susundan natin yung template. Susundan natin yung template ng ako naglag na. Ayan, naglag na po. Wait lang po. Naglag na po siya. Susundan lang po natin yung template ng PPST. Kung halimbawa po yung domain 1 natin, in particular, is it 1.1.1, 1.2.1? Kasi kung kayo ay beginning teachers, kung kayo ay um, proficient na, ba? So, ifa-flash ko na lang po yung mismo nilagay ko sa study notebook ko. Yes. Ito po, example. Ayan, nakikita nyo na ba? Ito sa aking module 4, lakihan ko na lang. Ayan. So, module 4, lesson 2. Ito yung aking individual development plan. Strengths ko, syempre, based doon sa aking self-assessment tool, ang strengths ko ay yung domain 1.4.2. Use a range of teaching strategies that enhance learners' achievement in literacy and numeracy skills. Ano naman yung mga needs ko, developmental needs, na kailangan ko pang improve sa tingin ko or gusto ko pang i-improve? Um, yung priority kong i-improve, yung applied knowledge and content within and across curriculum teaching areas. So, what are my learning objectives for that professional program? So, I want to practice content and knowledge and its application within and across curriculum areas. So, what will be my intervention for that? Attend seminars and trainings. It's either virtually or physically. Timeline ko from October 2020 to June 2021. What are the resources that I might need? Personal or school-funded or grants? Yan. Pero syempre, virtual na tayo, ba? Attend na tayo ng mga virtual uh, webinars. So, ganun lang din po sa mga susunod. Ayan. Ayan po. Tapos, ito medyo humaba yung akin. Ito po yung study notebook ko. Maybe next uh, videos, I will show you the whole study notebook. Yan po. Medyo madami. Ayan. Nilagyan ko lang ng bitmoji. And also, dinagdagan ko na ng core behavioral competencies. Kasi, bakit po? etong functional competencies natin ay based sa PPST. Yes. Based po ito sa PPST. Pero, yung core behavioral competencies ay based naman sa DepEd. Ano natin? Yung mga... Um, ano na kasi yung tawag po doon? I forgot na. Ayan po, self-management, professionalism, and result focus. I want These are my development needs, innovation, teamwork, and service orientation. Okay, so yan po ang example ng ating IDP or Individual Development Plan. How about, how about for the PD discussion template for LAC? Okay, so for me, nilagyan ko na lang po ng uh, lahat ng areas. So, yung seven domains, nilagyan ko po ng pwedeng mga specific topics na pwedeng i-discuss for luck. Pero it's up to you po. Kung halimbawa, ang needs mo lang dito, ang needs mo lang dito ay about lang sa domain 2 or domain 3. So, pwedeng doon sa iyong professional development discussion for luck ay yung, mo, yung domains lang na yun. Pero sa akin, gusto ko lang na lahat lagyan ko. Although, ang mga needs ko lang naman ay iilan dito. Wala lang. Gusto ko lang i-discuss ulit sa lack. Hindi naman po siguro masama. <laughs> so, ito yung mga specific topics na gusto ko pang ma-discuss with my colleagues. Ayan po. Pedagogical approaches, embedding pedagogy and blending educational technology in learning and design of virtual. Ayan. Ayan po. Although kahit gasgas -gas na po yung mga ibang topics dyan, gusto ko pa rin silang magkaroon ng uh, 
magkaroon kami ng discussion about this. Yan po. Ayan. Pasensya na kayo. Medyo magulo ka kasulat ko. Ayan. Examples lang po yan. So, sa module 4 po, talagang i-assess nyo yung sarili nyo. Ano ba yung strengths mo at ano pa yung weaknesses mo, yung developmental needs mo. Yes po. Para dun yung i-identify yung mga interventions or yung pwede nyo maging specific topics for lack session. Okay. So, I think that's all. I think that's all para sa module 4. Diba? Kasi yan lang po yung kailangan na templates, ha? I, uh, individual development plan and yung template for lack discussion. Opo, yun lang po ang kailangan. Kasi po, uh, yung iba naman doon sa study notebooks na. Diba? Okay, so tignan natin. Oh, yun lang siya talaga. Congratulations! You have completed module 4. And now, let's proceed to the final module. Pero next video na po yun. So, thank you very much, uh, everyone, sa mga nag-comment na naod ng ating mga lecture videos na why nakakatulong kami or ako na po sa inyong mga outputs. Kung may questions kayo, don't forget to subscribe muna. <laughs> Para updated tayo sa mga susunod. Thank you! Siguro tomorrow or later on, I'll upload the module 5 na. Bye!